A huge shout out to Three Men in a Basement for this awesome weekend in Connecticut comic book crawl, private invite only. We went to three comic book shops, took the entire day. I didn't get home until like one in the morning, and it was absolutely a killer Saturday, worth every minute. There's two other short boxes sitting right here, which I also have to show you. We've probably got about five, six hundred books, I'd say. I can't disclose how much I paid this time, but just know that it was very good deals all day long. Very good deals, I will say. Before I even get into this box, I will tell you that there's probably about 20 books that I call the oops pile that I picked up and they either weren't as nice as I thought they were or just not as big of a deal. Um, so that'll be a dollar bin book. So we'll start the counter with 20 bucks. And then there was like a hundred Green Lantern 9.8 worthy copies that I picked up. But since that's all personal collection, I'm not even going to bore you with that. But they look like legitimate 9.8 contenders, so they're all going to CGC. Let's get into the stuff that I'm actually going to move. All right, first few books, we picked up a Badger number one. I keep wanting to tell you what I paid for this, but I, I can't. So Badger number one, very nice. This will be great for my $3 wall. Weird War Tales Creature Commandos. Creature Commandos, as we know, exploded. So I grabbed all the Creature Commandos books I could find. Weird War Tales 105 as well. Uh, this Creature Commandos 112, which I think is the first cover appearance of DC's Medusa. We've got a gorgeous, gradable version of Alpha Flight number three. I've always, I always like that cover, so I pick it up if I can find it less than a dollar. First appearance of the Kid Devil. First appearance of Kyle Rayner's new suit. It actually predates Green Lantern 51. Uh, the origin of Bronze Tiger and Oracle revealed as Barbara Gordon. I got two of those. Larflee's Christmas Special. If you Larflee's fans know that one. Demon number one. The 90s one, Hawk and Dove, number one. Azrael, number one and ten. And this final location, this third place, got to tell you about it for a second. I've never bought comics like this in my entire life. It was basically, we had like an hour and a half. There were 20 of us, and it was just go, go, go. There were so many boxes that it was honestly too much for all of us. And we just had to look and look quick and try to pick up good stuff. So I've never bought comics like that before. It was very hectic, very crazy, but it was a blast. And I did get some good stuff out there, but I know that I definitely missed some good stuff too. I missed, uh, first of all, speaking of Azrael, entire full run of Azrael, full run of Robin, uh, full run of Nightwing, except for issue number one, uh, full run of Batgirl, uh, so many full run, like boxes of full runs, keys, everything. It was, it was insane. Um, so I was absolutely thrilled to be a part of it. Got a couple of these. First appearance of Max, Blood Wolf. Check this out. Not authority number one, but authority number two. Hey, I'm sure. Uh, that book is a little bit bigger now. With the news, Hitman, I always pick up the close-up headshot covers of the 90s. And then the classic Santa Claus crazy guy spree cover. Very controversial book right there. I uh, got that one picked up. And then look one, two. Um, honestly, I'm not going to count them all. I don't know. What's that? 25 copies of X-Force number one. And I looked to see if any had the Deadpool trading card. Only one out of all of that had the Deadpool trading card. I know sometimes people like the Cable trading card one, but yeah, good stuff. Uh, another X-Force number one, okay. Another X-Force number one, what's going on here? Thought I got another one. And Scorpio Rose, this is Steve Englehart's love project, passion project. Um, I think he wrote that character into Madame Xanadu, but ended up bringing it in here. Awesome. Actually, I have a 9.8 of that. 
Next up, we've got Doctor Strange 11. It is not a key, but it was just too darn gorgeous. Really sharp, great. The condition for a lot of this stuff was there. Legends number six, first appearance of Justice League International, and I think a couple other things. Very nice. Never seen this before. Tiny little digest book of Batman Begins. That was kind of cool. And uh, we did get a good amount of 60s and early 70s stuff. Strange Adventures 224. Very nice. Avengers 74. Very nice. Uh, Metamorpho Elemental Man number 11. And 16. And I thought I had a duplicate. Yep. There's a duplicate of 16. Night Thrasher number 1. Newsstand, nice. Swamp Thing number four, but this is beat. Bernie Wrightson and Len Wein, but that's not a pretty one. Uh, New Teen Titans 68, classic Joker cover there. Let me move this all down. It sounds like my chair is farting. Sorry. I swear it's not me. Or is it? Uh, let's see, Batgirl, number one, the special edition, uh, X-Men 24, and a newsstand. Unfortunately, the grade's just not there, so it's only like a $5 book. Uh, the full miniseries of X-Men and Alpha Flight, one and two. Some nice, quality, good-shaped Daredevils. Very nice. Uh, Green Lantern, 223. Uh, this slipped in here. This is one I'm going to try to get a 9.8 of. Uh, 224 is cool because that's the actual end of the run and Oa, the destruction of Oa and everything. First Float of Span, Olapet, and Dreek. Uh, the third or fourth, I can't remember, printing, which is the hardest to get Sinestro Core special with Superboy Prime as a yellow lantern right on the front. And I got two of them. We've got several copies of the death of Alex, uh, Kyle Rayner's girlfriend, the much harder to obtain uh, cover version of uh, 81. You always see the funeral cover. This is Doctor Strange and Wong in a DC book. That's right. Wong from the Marvel Universe is in this issue. Um, I always forget what this is, but it's a newsstand ASM 255. Very nice. Let's keep it going. Now, what's interesting is I don't think I got a single book over 60 bucks. I know I have like a few in the like the 40 ish dollar range, but today was about getting the inventory in. This is going to be great for when I set up the antique shop and great for claim sales, honestly. A uh, full run of Barb Wire, classic Brian Boland, Joker, and uh, Wonder Woman cover. Itchy and Scratchy number one. Two copies of Gradable Contenders of Cloak and Dagger. We've got a nice either late 60s or early 70s World's Finest, issue number 202, 15 center. It's a nice $8 book. Uh, speaking of $8 book, I got a newsstand, super high quality of Legends number three, first new Suicide Squad. We got a Captain Carrot number one. We got the first appearance of Miss Martian. We've got the first appearance of E-Man. We've got a Nick Cardi Aquaman cover, number 32. Very nice. Oop, let me put those down. We've got one, two, three, four copies, all gradable possible candidates of the first appearance of Maria Rambeau. We've got Dark Water, number one, the adaption of Dark Water. Another ASM newsstand, 255. First appearance of Wolf the Barbarian, Atlas number one. Two perfect looking copies of Firestorm number seven, which is the first appearance of Plastique, which I heard a very loose rumbling that James Gunn might be looking at characters like that. So, hey, maybe. Um, one of my favorite covers of all time, Brian Boland's Vigilante Annual Number 2. Just made that into a video, actually. We're going at a fast pace here because I want to show you everything. 
and everything's getting progressively better as I go. West Coast Avengers number 14, anniversary cover. Iron Man, 212 anniversary cover. Wonder Woman issue 19, which is the first full and cover appearance of Cersei, obviously DC's version. We got a 12 center Adam, issue number 23. Picked up for under a buck, Deadpool's second appearance, X-Force number two. We've got a DC Universe logo variant hiding in there. Very nice, Superboy. We got a first appearance of Tamara Blake, AKA the Iron Cat. We've got a full run of all four copies, all four variants of Legends of the Dark Knight number one. And I'm talking go get them graded worthy copies. Sick, super crisp. Keep it going. Ah, here it is. The only one of these that actually had the Deadpool card. World's Finest, issue 203. I really dig that cover. Oh, here's a Nick Cardi, Teen Titans, issue number 40. Another gorgeous cover there. First appearance of Demon Bear and Warlock, New Mutants, 18. I believe, I believe this is the first Magic comic. Magic card, the Gathering comic. Here's Terminator number one. I got two of them. Very nice. Those are really $10 books. That's actually the first Dark Horse comic. We've got Robocop, the movie adaption. Perfect grade, too. Robocop number one. Couple spine ticks, but sure. Very nice. And let's keep it going. We've got Green Lantern issue 71. Or mid-grade, maybe mid-to-low copy. Reader copy. Green Lantern 72. I'd say like a reader copy. Justice League of America 141. The first appearance of the Manhunters. That is right. Never actually picked that one up in the wild. Or at least it's been so long that I forgot if I had. X-Men 23. First Archangel and the first four horsemen of the apocalypse. Gorgeous copy. Uh, Suicide Squad 49. Thinking about submitting this one in. That's the Revenge Against Joker cover, which everybody really likes. First, Cassie Sandsmark, Wonder Girl, Wonder Woman 105. Um, oh, here we go. They had almost 10 of these. This is Tales of the Green Lantern Corps Annual number two, which is the first appearance of Sodom Yacht. First Prophecy of the Blackest Night, written by Alan Moore, which wouldn't get adapted until 20 years later in what we now know as Blackest Night. Boom. Every single one of these is gradable. So the figures I'm going to show you on the screen are all raw, but I'm thinking about sending those off. Once we get these books back from CGC, if I plan to send any of them, we are definitely, definitely, definitely going to have an even bigger profit than whatever I list in this video. We've got Nightcrawler number one, two, three, and four, the complete miniseries. Very nice. Let me make some room here. Another classic Brian Boland cover, Justice League of America, 190, newsstand cover, very nice. Uh, World's Finest, 200, anniversary issue, and I really dig that cover. We've got Justice League Detroit, a couple first appearances in there, too. It's a more expensive book than you think, actually. Watch out for that one. It's a little bit of an unknown DC key. We've got a newsstand in still in its poly bag, thinking of getting this one graded of Morbius number one. I know that book has gone down so much, but hell, I don't know. If I can get a 9-8 out of that, it might be pretty darn good. Here we go. Here's one of the wins. This book just got huge. First appearance of Amanda Waller. Really good time to pick that up. Last issue of Howard the Duck. This is another one I might send to CGC. It is perfect. Perfect. Missing issue one and three, I almost picked up the entire Secret Wars run. I'll need to look in my pile, see if I can find a, a one and a three. Uh, Truth, red, white, and black. Perfect grade. I might get that one sent in. We got a uh, first Isaiah Bradley. Was it Bradley? I forget. 
Uh, first future Iron Man or Tony Stark of the future? I always forget the exact key, but it's Machine Man 1 through 4, the full miniseries. Speaking of full miniseries, Concrete number 1. More desirable early Dark Horse um, indie title there. Complete run of that. That's very nice. Here's with certificate of authenticity, Punisher 2099 number 1. 9.8 quality. Is that Joe Rubenstein? I, honestly, I don't know. I don't know who was on this, but signed by somebody with a cert. So let's keep it going. All right. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen copies of different issues of Sonic books. Sonic the Hedgehog, Archie titles, almost every single one of them were newsstands as well. These are all 15 to $20 a pop. And if you don't believe me, watch this video. Actually, quite frankly, some of them are worth more. A nice run of Shang-Chi books. Bam, uh, number 19. Number 20, and some of these are minor uh, appearances mixed in here. 24, these definitely had the grade though. Um, a lot of these are actually pretty sharp. 29, that's a big one. What's that, first Razor Fist? I think it might be. 31, 32, 38, 39, another 39. 40, 41, 42. Here, hold on. That's about to fall. Uh, 45, 51, 53, 54, 58, 59, 62, 63, 65, 88, 105, that's a nice 10 to $20 book there, uh, and 106. So I'll have to check the issues I already have, see if that completes any gaps there for me, but I was really happy with that. We also got a large amount of Howard the Duck books, I'll show you in just a second. Again, I couldn't remember which ones I actually have. We got 31, 30, you already saw 33, the end of the run, 29... 29, 28, oops, 27, 25, and another copy, 22, 21, 20, 18, 15, number 8, and number 5. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's just the long box. Which box is this? Superman? I'm going to show you all the Superman pickups. Quite a number of them. And these are not in any particular order, but many, many copies of still bagged and boarded Superman or Adventures of Superman 500, first Superboy, first appearance of Steel, a couple other first appearances in there. Very nice. That's always a solid pickup if you can get it for a buck. They go for five to sometimes all the way to ten, believe it or not. I would say we'll play it on the safe side and call it five. Then we've got Superman, uh, his girlfriend, Lois Lane. I have this exact book twice. This one's the less good quality one. Jimmy Olsen, number 123. All Silver Age stuff here, 121, 116 which is a gorilla cover, uh, 97, 12 center, 117, gorgeous Superboy 12 center, uh, where he killed Lana Lang, issue 151. Uh, Superman 75, this is the second print. Don't forget, with DC Books, the later printings are actually more valuable. And another second print. We've also got a still-bagged and boarded copy of 505. That'll probably wind up on my $3 wall. 
Two copies of Superman issue 204. Some nice Silver Age Superman. Always good to get duplicates of. Superman 176. Very nice. I think this has to be Nick Cardi. It's just got to be. Does he say anywhere? Yep, Cardi. Uh, you can tell because the cover is absolutely gorgeous. Superman 257. Superman 280. 273, 265, one of my favorite Neil Adams, Superman 317. Let me move those down. We got, um, oh, I thought I had a bunch more of those. I'll save that. Action Comics 442, 423, 415. Adventure Comics, all this is like late 60s stuff, uh, $3.95, randomly in here, and I thought I had another one, is Superman 74, and it happens to be the newsstand edition. If you're going to find that, you want it to be a newsstand. Uh, we've got Action Comics 662, which is Lo uh, Clo Clois. Clark telling to Lois that he is Superman. So that is the reveal issue. It's kind of a big deal. Uh, a couple of these uh, Chrome variants of 82, one of my favorite books. Three copies of this Superman flag cover. Um, a lot of people love that American Way uh, cover and text on the front there. That's their favorite version of Superman. Yeah, here's another Chrome. Move that down. Uh, first appearance of Aron, and it's the newsstand, and it's a gradable copy. Here's another one of these things. This is a cool anti-drunk driving story. It's pretty dark for a Superman book, actually. Uh, it's a little bit of a cult classic issue, that one. We've got Superman issue 183 from 1965. We've got a DC Universe logo variant of the Wedding Album Another one of these suckers. Uh, two more gradable copies, not newsstand this time, of Auron. And let's keep it going. You see a couple more, yeah. Three more Action Comics 662. Here's another one. Any more? Yep. And another one. Okay. So Action Comics 662, the reveal. We've got Adventures of Superman 466, the first appearance and death or death of Hank Henshaw, later become Cyborg Superman. The price would surprise you on that. Uh, Action Comics 445, 446, and then randomly Future State Superman House of L. Tons of first appearances in that. Coffee break. Damn, it got cold. Uh, Jimmy Olsen, 114. Another Death of Superman. This one's just a regular first print. Uh, Superman's Girlfriend, Lois Lane, 42. Interesting. This is the first unofficial appearance of Captain Marvel. We know as Shazam in DC Comics. Um, Captain Marvel artist eventually sued Fawcett, as you may or may not know. This is the nicer of, that's actually kind of a pricey book, by the way. Nicer of the two, Superman's Girlfriend, Lois Lane, issue 93. Very nice. Uh, 63, another wedding album, this time newsstand edition, which totally works. We've got two wedding albums still in original bag and board. We've got another Death of Superman. This one was the second printing. Really sharp copy, that one. Uh, we've got another Superman 74 newsstand edition. Very nice. We've got another Adventures of Superman 500 newsstand. Very nice. Third printing, which is one of the more rare printings of Death of Superman. Very nice. Girl, Superman's Girlfriend Lois Lane, 69. Nice. Oh boy, I picked up a lot of Superman. Uh, all right. Superboy 161, uh, 158, and I got two copies of it. Uh, 152, really dig this 
uh, Supergirl cover. Adventure Comics, number 417. Uh, Superman, issue 239, another Gorilla cover. Noish. Another Superman 75 second print. Uh, that was from the same pile as that other one, which is, I think, good enough to get graded. So that might make its way into my next submission. Superman issue 235, 226. Nice Silver Age stuff here, 218. Here's a nice one. The Origin and Destruction of Krypton 2. Created by Jor-El. That's a little expensive book there. Superman 189. Superboy 166. Uh, Lois Lane 88. Another Lois Lane 88. Lois Lane 60. Lois Lane, 61. And we're going to end our Supermans with Action Comics 689, which is the first appearance of Black Suit Superman. Um, this Superman 365 is actually not a key if it wasn't for the fact that there's a fan letter from Todd McFarlane in that book, which is pretty cool. And the last of the Superman pickups goes to another Adventure Comics 500 Newsstand copy, gradable copy. Man, we're killing it. And we still have Batman to look at. Let's get to it. We're going to start it off, I believe. Yeah. Got a bunch of, um, for under a dollar, the uh, one shots and things like that. The Elseworlds. Castle of the Bat. Those will look good on my three and five dollar walls. Batman Two Face one shot. Golden Streets of Gotham one shot. A complete run of Batman Haunted Gotham, number one through four. Very nice. Keep going. Uh, another one shot Scarface, Batman Madness, ties into Long Halloween actually. Batman Forever, that's actually a underrated one. Has a little bit of a value, though, you'll see. Uh, Batman, Blue, Gray, and the Bat. Uh, Last Angel, all these one-shots from the 90s, 2000s, and 80s. Uh, Scottish Connection. Batman, uh, Aliens, number one. Batman, The Gauntlet, another copy of Scar of the Bat. Um, I should have grabbed more of these. There were more. I only grabbed one. Gotham by Gaslight. First printing. Nice grade, too. In Darkest Night, when he becomes a Green Lantern. Mr. Freeze. Debut of Nora Freeze in comics. Nice. Penguin Triumphant. Another Castle of the Bat. Two. Poison Tomorrow. Speaking of poison, we've got Batman Poison Ivy one-shot. All right, and then we have first appearance of Mr. Blue. And then we have Batman 536, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 53, 54, 54, 55, 55, 56, 56, 57, 58, 58, a couple duplicates in here. Fifty-nine, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-four. Missing five sixty-three. 
565, 65, 66, 68. No, Batman 568, first Cassie Kane was not in here. Uh, 68, 69, 60, no, 70, 1, 72, 73, 74, 75. So we got a nice stretch of comics that also didn't need to be rebagged and boarded, which was really nice. This is going to be great for um, my antique shop that I set up. It'll be nice to have like some Batman books, very affordable ones for kids to pick up. Is this one? Uh, five... 76, and I think this is it. No, uh, but this is good. Uh, Batman Annual Neil Adams cover classic book, issue number 14, and I managed to get two of them. They are gradable copies, and I think I might actually get those sent in. We've got a full run, I've snuck them all in the one big Silver Age bag and board of Dark Knight. Dark City, which is that Riddler arc. We've got two copies of Batman 450, first Curtis base, classic Joker cover. What goes well with 450? Two copies of 451. We've got Batman issue 314, Detective Comics 447, Batman 275, Batman 315, this one's a little rough, though. Not from the same collection. Really sharp Detective Comics here. I normally don't grab 60-cent Batman Detective Comics unless they're really good looking. Uh, a little Silver Age Detective Comics, 354. Here's Batman 278. Another possible go-get-it-graded contenders of Detective Comics 508 and 535. Crazy Quilt cover. Batman Adventures, 36, and it's a newsstand, really high grade, and I got two of them. We also got uh, Batman Adventures, 11, 10, 9, 8, and 7. No, obviously Batman Adventures, 12, was not in there. All right, and we are nearing the end here, folks. Two copies of The Question 33. Why is this in my Batman box? Because it's the first appearance of Harold Allnut. I've been looking for a gradable copy, and now I have two of them. So they're both going to go off to CGC. I couldn't be more excited to get a Bat family member added to my collection. Batman 270, uh, 273, uh, gorgeous get a graded copy of Detective Comics 609, small key. It's just the second Anarchy appearance. Uh, first, Tim Drake in the new classic Robin costume. Batman 495, but it is the newsstand edition, and I got two of them. Here is one of the hardest books from the 90s to find in high grade, especially for people trying to collect all of the Batman Villains in 9-8s, which there's a lot of you guys out there. First appearance of Orca. Really tough book. Uh, and I've got two gradable copies here. Then we have the first Brian Michael Bendis in DC ever. Um, he did this issue, and then he didn't come back to DC for 20 years. Fun fact. Um, that is about to collapse. Batman 394, Batman 231, Detective Comics 362, and the last book of the day goes to Batman 240. Not freaking bad for a Saturday's pickups, my friends. I will be moving these tomorrow when I join the Experience channel live. I do Tuesday claim sales every week on the Experience, who also is coming up close to 1,500 subscribers, which there will also be a giveaway. So that's another channel you want to make sure you're following. So overall, I'm thrilled. I had such a blast with the guys. I got to meet some people that I've known through like YouTube for a little bit, but I got to actually meet them, which was cool. 
And um, we're definitely looking at a nice little healthy profit here. So this was absolutely worth it. Great timing with my antique shop opening up soon. Um, and just, I'm so thrilled. I'm so thrilled. Three men in a basement. Thank you again for the invite. We had such an amazing time. I will see you guys at the next video. If I can ever edit this long of a video in time, that is. And keep on hunting.